Hello fellow YouTubers, so this is going to be my little introduction video for the terrain product that the Idik Beer is hosting right now. So it's a little bit of a competition and the base premises for this competition is to build a terrain piece or a diorama on a 12 by 12 inch square. So it's going to be a little bit hard to see because I've been sketching up my project on a whiteboard, um, but I hope you can make out what I'm and I'm gonna talk about it. So hopefully it's gonna be alright. So if I pan back back a little bit, this is my one foot by one foot board, and uh, this is not actually the board I'm gonna use. I'm just using this cardboard thing to sketch up my idea and see what uh, what uh, is uh, really feasible. So uh, to talk a little bit about uh, the background for this uh, particular train piece. Ever since the Necrons were introduced uh, way back in the olden days, uh, there was a little bit of a diorama that uh, someone, had, I think it was posted in the White War for the first time, um, of an uh, archaeological dig thing where they unearthed some Necron uh, pieces and uh, that really stuck in my mind and has been with me all, all through those uh, years and uh, now that I'm actually playing in a Necron campaign and this terrain challenge came up I thought hey why not try to finally do this terrain piece so it's a little bit uh, mixed between a train piece and uh, uh, an actually actual diorama piece. <clears throat> so the the idea I have is uh, for a train piece, it's gonna uh, play the same part as a hill does in a normal game. Um, so loose blocking and uh, maybe a difficult terrain depending on where you are on the, on the little board. So uh, for the square here, I'm uh, thinking uh, I'm going to use a 5mm uh, um, foam board. The, uh, I have a very dense foam board that's used for the commercial uh, um, when, I, when they do uh, um, signs and stuff in this manner. And also I think it's the same uh, stuff that architects use to build their models. It's like a regular foam board but the foam part is uh, much denser. So that's going to be a nice base I think for it. Then what I'm going to do is make it um, so that I, I uh, taper the edges really well so it just floats into the board and not really stand out so much from it. Might also cut off the corners and make the, the piece a little bit more fluid like that. So uh, I started off doing a little sketch here uh, to see what, uh, what I actually could fit in on the board. So uh, I want to have a fairly large hill. So I sketched out uh, kind of a triangular shape. When I actually do the hill it will probably be a bit more rounded. I'm gonna have to figure out how to make that look natural, not uh, so very constructed. Uh, um, there is a bit of leniency because it's actually a sand hill covering some kind of a necron construct so it's not perfectly natural uh, in its construction so it could have a bit of an odd shape and maybe that's why they started digging here because it looked a little bit out of the ordinary so uh, this piece here is going to be the hill I'm going to shape it in uh, extruded polystyrene and then cover it with something uh, thinking of using very fine grain sand, uh, but we'll see about that. So right now I'm a little bit in the... Uh, the basic idea was to make this like in a desert setting, because that's what the, the image I have in my head from seeing uh, some other incarnations of this. But uh, this could very well be some other kind of hill, just an ordinary mud hill with the grass on top. So uh, put down in the in the comments what you think about that. Should I make it uh, like a desk uh, thing or more like a, a grass grassy knoll thing? Um, so I've done uh, some more sketching. These little squares here. I don't know if you've seen any archaeological digs, but many times they dig some uh, uh, shafts down into the ground, uh, mark them out, and then they unearth. Uh, uh, 
things from from the dig. Uh, most of the time they don't dig up everything, but they just do these kind of uh, squares that they that they um, catalog everything they they pull up up everything they pull up from it. So I thought I'd do some of those here in the outskirts of the the thing. Um, maybe have some uh, cracked uh, tiling or something with some Necron runes showing off. Uh, that should be nice. Uh, and then here is uh, it's going to be the main shaft that they dug into the hill, and and down here I figure I'm going to have kind of a wall-like construction with some Necron decorations. I have some uh, um, pictures from the Forge World train plate that they made for the Necron train. I think I'm going to have get some inspiration from that and use a piece of that wall. And then I'm thinking maybe a portal, you know, like a. Uh, either a, a portal with, uh, that's uh, activated with this, uh, you know, the green uh, plastic uh, circle thing. But I'm gonna make my own, or uh, otherwise just a portal but unactivated. Uh, so I'm thinking just a, a indentation, then a, a flat stone wall inside of it. So that's I haven't decided what I'm gonna do that, there yet. Uh, then we're gonna have uh, a digger, so I have some track pieces and spare uh, things to make uh, a kind of a small digger in the size of the... I have some track pieces from the uh, Krieg... Uh, uh, what is, what's it called? Not Chimera... Uh, well, the small tracked unit that they used to transport their uh, artillery pieces with. I have some tracks from that, so I think I'm going to use that as a base and then, then do it more like industrial, not so uh, military. Paint it yellow perhaps, something like that. So that's going to be uh, here and uh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to make it like it's just dug out this piece. There's not going to be any, any models on this, um, so no Necrons or, or uh, things like that. So it's going to be like a suggestive piece that perhaps they dug out this and then they were uh, run off by the awakening necrons or uh, we don't really know what happened to them. Uh, over here I'm thinking of having some kind of a generator uh, with cables uh, leading off and placing up some kind of uh, light lighting system. Uh, with lamps uh, on tripods or something, one uh, kind of uh, directed down towards the dig and then I'm gonna have a little, this uh, kind of a big sifter thing that they pull, put uh, sand and dirt into and sift to see if they uncover some uh, smaller pieces and then I'm gonna have some kind of a table here with a, perhaps a map, some they have to drink tea of course, so a cup of tea or two and perhaps some shares and stuff like that and a lamp of course over here. So uh, that's the basic idea I have for now and then I'm gonna of course I think it's gonna develop uh, when we actually start building this uh, thing. But I wanted to put up a first uh, uh, introduction and maybe get some feedback feedback about what you think uh, maybe have some more ideas maybe there's someone out there that actually seen an archaeological dig that can give me some good pointers on what to include in the like the diorama part of the the terrain piece um, I'm going away now for a few days uh, the kids have a holiday from school so we're gonna uh, go off and uh, just uh, have a nice time in uh, a cabin uh, while so I'll be uh, offline for a few days uh, but I just wanted to get this out before I went away so uh, please put any uh, thoughts suggestions and such down in the doobly doo below and I hope to be back soon with uh, more updates on this uh, train projects so until then, uh, game on and uh, I will see you later. Bye.